Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. I start the time off. Boom. TNT. What up, Would you call, call yourself a morning person? Oh. Um, it's hard for me, Jonas. I actually work night shifts, so it's <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like, I guess technically it would be waking up before you would have to go to work. Because that would be your morning. So if you if you go to work at say eleven at night, if you woke up at like seven p.m., that would be your mor- That would make you a morning person, getting up four hours before you go to work. You know, right, or something so like that. What, what makes you a morning person? Let's discuss that first. I think a morning person is someone who gets up early before they have to start their day oh, wow. to get time in the morning before they start their day to do well, what. Uh, I don't know, man. Like some people like to get up and like get coffee and sit around and get, look at go do whatever. Like my mom before she she would used to get up super early and she would get up and make coffee, sit there, watch some TV, putz around, da da da, and then then go to work. Like me, I try to get up early and go to the gym because I, I'd rather go to the gym before work than on my lunch or after work. Um, but knowing that I can sleep a little longer, like <laughs> is like I get up. Literally, the shortest amount of time I have where I know, like, if I have to be to work at X time, this is even before I work from home, I would be like, how much time do I need to get up, shower, get dressed, walk out the door, get in my car and drive to work to get to work 10 minutes early to be able to start my shift? That's the time I get up. Like, so if one thing goes wrong, I'm late. Like, because I'm like, I'm sleeping to the last effing second that yeah, I can't. I wouldn't, I don't do that. That's for sure. I always thought that a morning person was a, see, I always like kind of put it on affinity. Like if you had an affinity for being up early, like even on your weekends off, you're up early. That's always what I thought. Like a person oh. who's like, I like to get up early, get the day started and get moving. You yeah. know, I always thought that was a morning person. I mean, that that's another, I would say that's another definition of a yeah. morning person. Like, but like for your situation, you work nights, so you have no opportunity to be a morning person because you're already I mean, awake. I, I still have a morning. In though. the morning. My morning is just different from other people's morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I yeah. still, so my morning is at like what, like six o'clock, I guess? Like 530 is when I wake up. So six o'clock is my morning in that, that time frame. Yeah, essentially. So am I cool with wake? I wake up probably about an hour, an hour early for work. An hour, an hour before you have to start getting ready to go to work. An hour and a half before work is when I actually wake up. So oh, okay. that, and I'm, and as soon as I'm up, another uh, idea I would think for a morning person, a morning person wakes up, mind is awake. I'm on that tip. For the most yeah. part, most part. If I sleep during the day, I'm more groggy when I wake up than if I. Yeah. In the See, morning. like when I get up, if I if I do get up, mm-hmm. I can get going pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Like you know, so it, I don't have that morning fog that a lot of people have, and I can get up and I can turn into my peppy ass annoying self really fast because people who. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of like <laughs> girlfriends and things. I wake up and they're like, what the F is wrong with you? Like, yeah. why are you so ready to go? We've been up for nine minutes and yeah. I'm like, I'm awake now. But like, <laughs> but like if you can't, but here's the thing. It's a fine line because if you wake me up and I'm not ready and I don't have to get up, I am a grumpy ass MF or dude. I'm like, <laughs> get the F out of my face. Leave me alone. Like, so it's, it's a fine line to walk. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm pretty much, I wake up, my mind is on and I don't know if an hour, if waking up an hour before, an hour and a half before you have to go to work, if that constitutes me as a morning person, then I guess I'd say that's borderline because it's not like you're waking up and like borderline morning person. Yeah, because because here's the thing, because most of that it's not like you're waking up and doing some project before you go to work. It's like you wake up and like lay around and like get a little bit of time to just chill and then you take a shower or whatever and go to work. I couldn't even tell you what I do before I go to work. I take a shower before I go to bed. Yeah, so it's not like um, you're so waking I, up and like writing a chapter in your book, and then like yeah. you know writing a chapter in my book <laughs> or whatever craft projects, whatever you're working on. I mean, but yeah, but like what? Okay, so so I'm borderline morning person. How can I become more morning person? You would have to get up earlier and like do like you like, I get up an hour and a half. Be earlier. like here we go. It'd be like it'd be like waking up at like say be, you have to leave for work at six thirty. That's waking up at like four. Going to the grocery store, so getting I'm some thirty gro- minutes off. No, no, <laughs> get, that's like two and a half hours. Or you get up, you go to the grocery store, get the, get your groceries knocked out, come home, then go. Who get, does this? People, dude. Morning, people 
get people, up that early to go to the done. grocery store before work. Get stuff done before work, man. Now, look, I will say is that I know people get up early and go to the gym before work or go for a run. And before I don't think that makes work. them a morning person because I do do it and I hate every effing second. And I love the gym. But that's why I say is that morning being a morning person has to be more towards affinity. Like if that part, if that part of your day doesn't bother you <laughs> or you even enjoy that time away from everybody else, because a lot of people, I figure, like a lot of people are married and they're like, if I get up early and I go for a run or if I get up early and I go do something, I can get away from the family. That's See, time to myself that's acceptable uh, that because would make, nobody can give me crap That would make me a morning it. person. Like you wake up and like you don't have to deal with a kid or you don't yeah. deal with your husband or your wife or whatever. And you're like, I wake up. I don't want to talk to anybody. Go to the gym. I exactly. hang out for like an hour. I come home. Just get home. that silence. Get that that Zen moment in. in yeah, the morning. I can see that. See, and I think that, like I said, and I think it, it has a lot to do with affinity, it, just as much as it has to do with like the actual practice of it. Right. Because you're saying like a morning person gets up early, does stuff, even if they don't like it. I'm like that ain't a morning person because they're not enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> you're when doing I it because... go to the gym in the morning, I hate it. But I, but I love the gym. I love being – once I'm there, I'm okay. But getting up and going there is, yeah. like, the worst thing in the world to me. Yeah. And I don't blame you for that. I don't think I would want to do something like that. Yeah. But it's, I, it's, it's trash. Like, but, I would uh, – but also, on, see, and here's the other thing. I don't think you can be a morning person and a night person. You know what I mean? Because cause oh. I am much more a night person. I would much rather stay up as late as F. And then sleep in till the second I got to go to work, then go to bed early and get up early in the morning. But I'm definitely a night person. Yeah, oh yeah. But like I said, <laughs> my mornings are different versus your night. My day is. Yeah, but but you come home from work in the morning and you stay up for a bunch of hours. That's, that's no uh, different than what you would do when yeah, you get off of work. Right, but that's like it. But you also stay up even later than you think you should because you're a night person. You know, you. I'm, uh, speaking for the hardworking third shift Americans of of America, right, right, right. <laughs> I have to say is that the amount of hours that I stay up, that I work, that I do extracurricular activities after work does not differ from the amount that you do as a day walker. Right. Oh, I agree a thousand percent. It's just it's, that it's just we, shifted. Do, we do them at different points in the day. So our mornings are different only because of the direction that the sun shines through the clouds. Right. Your morning is when I get off of work. And our nights are no different only from the direction of the moon right, right, exactly. not being present. Well, would a morning person or night person make, would it be defined by you, you wake up, you have more hours a more a more even distribution of hours before and after work cuz most people wow. that are night people get up right before they have to go to work yeah. with no t- and then they have all their time after work yeah. where yeah. morning people get up and they got a few hours before work but then they only have a few hours after work yeah. too cuz they go to bed early cuz you got to go to bed early so it's like so yeah. it's like if you spend all of your time after work awake does that make you a night person? And if you get up like four hours before work, then you're a, day, a morning person? Jo- you know what, Jones? You're speaking my freaking language right now. <laughs> now. Now we're getting down to the real brass tacks here. Right. You know what I think, Jonas? Another hypothesis. What's morning that? people are trying to escape their responsibilities. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because who the hell wakes up early when there's nothing going on? Yeah, you can go do your little errands or whatever. Get away from your family, you, you bad dad. Or you can <laughs> freaking... <laughs> Get off, work and then and you what? Out. You go to bed at nine thirty. Oh yeah, great. Little Jimmy's still running around in his underwear. His kid, that's his son. Okay, that he's not taken care of. While your <laughs> wife's doing all the hard stuff. Yeah, I'm I sorry. I don't like. Mean I get up at four a.m., honey. She's like, you don't work till ten. <laughs> but you do make a good point, Jonas. Like I, I don't know. I guess the distribution of hours after work and before work. I feel like there's more time after work that you could actually get something done. You yeah. could get an extracurricular activity, <laughs> whereas in the morning, stuff ain't opening until it opened. At least eight, most stuff. Yeah. But, but I guess I guess here's the thing. Like, as a night person, I, I don't I take almost all of my free time after work. I will mm-hmm. very rarely take free time in the morning unless I have to okay. go to an appointment or I decide to get up and go to the gym. Yeah. I'm me not either. getting up early just to sit around and hang yeah, out. Me but either. some people do that. Yeah, I agree. I, like, I don't got to work till 10, but I'm up at 5. Yeah, they love being up early. Yeah, dude. Get and that, and that, that. that type of love I do not have. No. I give myself enough time to make it to work, <laughs> get up, do, like, wake my brain up, and that's about it. And then after work, yo, I will stay up <laughs> until right. until two days later. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> So, but anyways, that's all the time that we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com uh, and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.